Hello everyone and welcome to another MTR Fab video. Today guys, this week we're going to talk about, it's a Milwaukee related video, but we're going to actually talk about batteries and chargers. And, uh, you know, over the years I've bought a lot of different kits and different batteries and that, that come in the kits. I never really buy individual cell, uh, you know, batteries. I always buy them in some sort of package. So, oddly enough, the biggest battery I currently own is this 9.0. And this is their high demand 9.0. And that's the battery in particular that drew me to make this video. Um, particularly because it's my only high demand battery, I tend to use it uh, and abuse it quite a bit. So during the summer, I run the trimmer, I abuse the trimmer, I run this thing nearly dead or sh it shuts off on thermal uh, safety. And that's a pretty regular occurrence. Well, later on in life here, um, I think I determined that this battery is a 2018 battery by uh, the serial number up top there. And with that said, I've noticed in recent time, maybe the last six months, when I run this in the vacuum, go check my channel out for the video about the uh, Milwaukee M18 vacuum, that vacuum uh, is one of these high demand devices that kind of challenges batteries. And I noticed when this battery got down to around two bars, uh, it would just magically shut off. It would go from two to none. Um, now, I, I, when, when I purchased this uh, weed whacker that came with this battery in this package, this was my introduction to the rapid charge world. So see how this charger says rapid charge on it. And this is the standard charger that's been around for years. And there's all kinds of marketing wank on the boxes of these things to tell you about how much faster you can charge. Now, I'm not a contractor. I go and I use these tools uh, in my you know everyday DIY type of stuff. So I'm not chasing after these batteries like some of you guys. Um, and, and so fast charge is an important feature for a contractor, I guess, if you if you don't have a lot of batteries. But my recommendation to you guys is definitely going to be the more batteries, the better. And the reason is I would uh, rather spread the abuse out over more batteries than get bigger batteries and abuse them more. Um, big batteries are great, but the reality is I don't want to put this in my power drill and carry it around all day. You know, a 5.0 or a 3.0 is, is capable. Now, this is an original uh, M18 XC. This was a 3 amp hour battery back in the day. This has two rows of cells in it. And I'm going to show you the insides of a competitor battery, not a Milwaukee battery. But just for example, uh, what a row of cells looks like. That's what's inside a battery pack. And inside like this one, there's two. So this would be the equivalent uh, to what Milwaukee now calls a CP battery. Um, Milwaukee has changed a lot of things. These are 18650s in this, this pack right here. When you get into these bigger packs, what you'll find is that they dimensionally, physically larger. And the reason why they're physically larger is because there's actually different cells in there, I believe. Uh, and, and I don't know, I can't really find too many good answers of wh whether they're using 20, 2700 cells or 21700 cells in these packs. I'm not going to take it apart to find out. Someday I will. But these all, all the original like XC uh, 3.0 to 5.0s were, were made with these 18650 cells. Now the 18650 cell is great but to get more juice out of them and still kind of stay within the same rough size, they've had to move up to get these ultra capacity batteries with the 6 O's and 8 O's and 9 O's. And I think they go up to 12 now and they may have even bigger batteries. I've been kind of out of the market. What I'm getting at is this battery chose to kind of go low capacity on me at this point. Now, what I did notice is if I put it on this fancy rapid charger that it came with, eventually it doesn't charge fast enough, and I get an error light, the red, green, red, green, red, green. Now, if you, if you pop the battery off and then put it back on, it'll go green immediately. 
But what that's telling me is I believe there are some cells that are out of balance here and that this battery is unhappy, especially in the lower end of its charge cycle. So what I tried to do was charge it with an old charger. It's a slow method of charging, but it brings me to my the real point. And it is just because it's faster doesn't mean it's better. Now, what I mean by that is this battery is going to take twice as long to charge on this charger. But for somebody like me, who can wait all night to have this battery charged because I have others, there's no reason not to. And the reason too is because it will develop a lot less heat charging this battery at half the rate. And that's what kills these batteries, whether it's discharging or recharging, it's heat. So. Milwaukee's done a good job at putting tech inside the battery, tech inside the charger, so it doesn't charge when it's hot, and it, you know, it won't overcharge the battery, etc., etc. But what I'm telling you is that you, as a user, can abuse batteries by charging them rapidly all the time, unnecessarily. So my recommendation is, just because you have a rapid charger does not mean you should use it. The slower you can charge your batteries, the longer they're going to last, period. It's, it's any battery. It doesn't only apply to Milwaukee batteries. This is kind of a general rule of thumb uh, in the world of pretty much any chemical makeup battery as well. Heat is the enemy. Um, so anytime you can charge slower, you're going to reduce the heat. So with that, the other thing you can do as an end user to uh, maximize your battery life is use the proper battery there's a reason why they sold this battery with the trimmer and not this battery. It would be nice to carry around a little tiny battery, but this is a three amp hour battery. It doesn't belong on that trimmer. It fits, it, it, it will work, but you'll squeeze the trigger and, and I'm not even joking, a couple seconds later it will shut off. Um, you know, maybe a minute or two, but the reality is that tool is not designed to run on small batteries. So where would you run this battery or an aged battery? I would run them in my LED lights that I'm running right now, or uh, I'd put them in a radio, or um, you know any other number. I'd use it in a phone charger device, or maybe use it in a Milwaukee heated apparel uh, item. Um, the stuff with the slow, long drain, you know, you can use a, a lesser quality, lower capacity battery. Where these guys are meant to be used is in the big stuff. You don't want to carry that around in your drill. All right, so things you can do as an end user is uh, also store the batteries. Um, if it, there's a reason why when you buy these batteries and you check them out, there's, there's only two bars usually. And that's because lithium batteries tend to be the most stable kind of in the middle of their... Uh, charge so charged fully isn't a great thing and discharged fully is not a great thing as well so if you're going to store them try to store them uh, with a couple bars or maybe three um you know check on them occasionally these things have really good shelf life and and if you're planning ahead you can leave them charged with two bars for quite a while and just pop in and and uh, do your home project and put it away with a couple bars. There's no reason to store these tools um, like you used to with the old NICAD packs. Now these packs had a memory. Uh, if, if you didn't charge them all the time, they would just die. And then, uh, you know, it's an old, uh, old way of thinking. The new lithium stuff is definitely, uh, can be stored with a partial charge and Recharging it is a good thing once in a while just to keep the chemistry active, especially if you leave them dormant for a long time. I've, I've purchased, you know, like closeout tools that are several years old from other manufacturers that literally had dead batteries and you couldn't, couldn't get uh, a charge inside the battery. But I am closing in on Milwaukee batteries that are definitely, say, eight years old now. I have a couple of them, I want to say. There's one that's got 2014 on it. That one's 2015. So the, they'll last if you treat them well. I mean, you got to store them. Like I said, don't, don't superheat them. Put them in the right tools, and you'll be 
fine and get all kinds of life. Anytime you can charge with the slower charge rate, I suggest it. Just because you can charge fast doesn't mean you should. Alright guys, I'm out for this week. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. YouTube doesn't uh, run these videos unless you guys give me some response. So uh, keep it moving. Thanks, guys. I'm out.